Welcome to another two minute on shape tutorial. In the previous one we made this thing, but what if I wanted it to have three sides or seven sides? Well, there are two ways to do this, the dumb way and the smart way. I'm gonna show you the dumb way first, and that would be just to go into the original sketch, edit it, and by adjusting the count on our polygon there, changing it from a six to a four, making it into a square, we get a square sketch, which results in this weird in-between shape. But now if we also change the side count in the top sketch to also four, then we've got our rectangular square cone thing. But this was quite a lot of work. We edited two sketches and there's a faster and a better way to do this. And that is called using the variables. So up in the tools, I'm going to create a new variable give this a name, just like you would in programming, calling it cone side count or whatever. And since this isn't a length, but rather dimensionless, set it to any and just give it a friendly description and a name that can be used to describe what we're entering here. Now I've got this variable in my feature tree. I'm gonna set it to six sides. And since we need to reference this value in these sketches, I'll push it up in the timeline to be the first thing. Then, when I go into the sketch and change this count, I can put in this variable, which as you can see, automatically fetches the six, and then repeat that again for the top sketch, again setting this dimension to be equal to our variable, and ta-da! Now, in our feature tree, we've got this variable, we can change it to, for example, three, and then we've got a three-sided base cone thing, or we can change it to a seven, and get a heptagon shaped cone thing. And that's about it.